Continuum 2024 has just been released, and inside our popular image restoration category comes a brand new effect powered by machine learning. Introducing Denoise ML. Simply drag and drop this onto a clip and let it remove that unwanted noise from your shots. I'm gonna be demonstrating this inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, but rest assured this works in any host that Continuum supports. Let's dive right in and see this workflow in action. Okay, I'm currently here inside of Premiere Pro, looking at a clip that I would like to denoise. In order for us to see this clearly, let me do a full screen playback. Press the space bar. You can see that noise pattern clearly on the top left hand corner. I'll escape out of here and with the clip selected, press Shift 7 to head to my effects panel. It's here in the BCC image restoration category under video effects that you'll find the BCC plus denoise ML. Now a word of caution if you've just installed Continuum 2024 on your system, it's gonna take a little while to initialize the first time that you apply these effects. Rest assured that this performance will not be the same the second and third time, much more optimized for your system and your application. In order to see the results clearly of denoise, let's first of all apply the filter. And in a couple seconds, we should see that that noise pattern is removed. We'll take a closer look in the program monitor by changing this from fit to 200% and then scrolling over to the left where we saw that original noise pattern. And I'll head to effect controls where we'll see the BCC plus denoise ML effect. And I'll click on the effects badge to toggle it off and on. Under view, we can change the output to just see the noise pattern only. I'll change that back to output. And we have two models that we can use to denoise our clips. So one is compression and noise combined, currently on version 2.1. The other is just camera noise. You can find out more information about these models specifically at our help section of borisfx.com. I'll leave it on the current model and let's change in our program monitor this back to fit to see the entire image and also just move to another frame where we can see these denoise results. Now, depending on our system specs, this effect may take some time to render. Therefore, we can turn off this effect and wait until we export our project to have a more optimized workflow. Or inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we can render and replace this clip. So here inside of my sequence, I'm just gonna right click it and I'll choose to render and replace. Since I'm on a Mac, I'll accept this Apple ProRes 422 codec, but you have other formats that you can choose from. It's gonna store it next to your original clip on your hard drive and also include video effects, which is a new feature and great for collaborative workflows where it will reference that the ML denoise effect was applied. I'll press OK to accept this. It's gonna analyze this and then create that new clip on your drive and automatically connect to it in your sequence. Okay, the render is complete and you can see that the name of the clip has changed here. Also, if we take a look at effect controls, we see that it is noting the denoise ML filter as rendered. If we ever need to get back to the original, just simply right click and we have an option here to restore the unrendered and have access to our full effect. I'm just gonna press Command Z in order to connect to the rendered out version. Let's move on to one more denoise example. This is a bit more extreme. I'm just gonna press Control tilde to play this back full frame so we can see all of the noise as well as compression in this shot. I'm gonna press Escape and like we did before, head to Effect Controls into our image restoration category where I'll apply the denoise filter. And now we can see those clean results that it's come up with. In fact, I'll bring this to 150% so we can take a close look, head to our effect controls, see the original noise compared with the output. I'll fit that to the window. And just like we did before, we can of course render and replace this and then play back the final result. And that's how we can work with denoise inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, but this works in any host that Continuum supports, including Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Avid Media Composer, to name a few. Boris Effects Continuum 2024 is also jam-packed with other features such as audio visualizer and generating sprites with Stability AI. Check out some of these tutorials on borisfx.com and don't forget to subscribe.